I am stupidly nervous for this video, you guys. I will admit that I've put this off, that I've had this color um, conditioner for about two weeks, and I've been afraid to do it. But here I am, here we are, and I don't know why I'm so afraid, because I've used Overtone in the past with great success. Um, maybe I don't know how my hair is gonna look. That's probably why I'm super nervous. About a month and a half ago on my community post here on YouTube, I posted this photo asking you all to vote for which overtone color I should do on my brown hair. Now this is a specific line of four different colors that they had created. I think they also have green and I somehow missed it at that point. But four different colors that they have created that are perfect for brown hair. So their website says that you can start with any, any starting point. If you're platinum blonde, maybe you'll go into the pastel collections. If you're light brown, you might go into the extreme collection. If you are dark brown like me, then you would go into the four brown hair collection. Even if you have black hair, it does promise that you're going to see this color probably more so in the light. So we're going to we're going to test that all out. So I have the poll right here. Um out of 367 votes, 211 of you chose the purple. Um, I only had 73 for the rose gold, 66 for the blue, and 17 for the ginger, which I was kind of surprised. I didn't realize it would be such an overwhelming vote on just one color. It made it very easy to figure out what color I should buy. So this here is the color that uh, we will be using. It is a super duper deep dark purple, which I guess I anticipated it looking like that in order to turn this brown hair into a dark purple. This hair of mine, um, it is box dyed, but I box dye it with a subscription service called eSalon where they custom curate your color specifically for you and what you want, what your starting point is and what your ending goal is. And it is a phenomenal service. Brad Mondo has approved it, so I trust it. He also agrees that overtone is wonderful. So I feel like we're going to have a really good outcome today, but I wanted to make sure I don't have virgin hair. And I think that most people do not have virgin hair. It is box dyed. You can see it from my roots right here that I have about um, a solid inch, maybe even more of growth where my hair is darker than my actual semi-permanent coloring that I have on top, which does kind of fade a little bit like it's darker. You can see some light parts in here just from like the sun. It has been three months since I've dyed my hair, so this is as washed out as it is going to get. It is a permanent hair color, and I'm not gonna strip it. We're not stripping it, we're not doing extra steps. I am just going straight in for overtone with brown hair. Um, but I do also want it to cover my grays, and I'm a little bit curious if it's going to turn my grays into a very bright, vibrant purple, where it's going to be incredibly noticeable, and then it's gonna wash out of that quickly, and I'm going to have to battle that, um, or if it will actually cover my grays. Nothing on their website says anything about grays. Not in the FAQs, not under each of the, the things, not anywhere. So yeah, I have all of my gray hairs to start. I have about an inch of growth. I have old box dye on my hair. I have grays that go throughout my hair. Let's dig into this. So first, let's change. All right, so I changed into a t-shirt that I don't mind ruining. I also have this uh, cape, salon cape, that I got from eSalon as an add-on for one of my um, dye orders. And then uh, I safe, I laid out some towels on the floor here so that I don't destroy my bedroom. Let's, fingers crossed, I don't destroy my bedroom. Okay, so first up, I am going to section my hair into four even sections. That way I am not missing anything and I can just be sure that my entire head is covered. The instructions did say to start with clean dry hair. So I did take a shower just before doing this so that I can make sure that I had completely clean hair. I did not put any products in. After my shower I just blow dried it dry and this is just how frizzy it is naturally. I did also get all of these little supplies that I'm using from eSalon. It was an add-on for like maybe 10 or 15 bucks on my eSalon order. This is not an eSalon video, but I feel like I need to explain why I have professional equipment and I am not a professional. We're in four sections here. That's what we're looking at. They're not perfect sections, but that's not the point. We need a glove, another glove, because I'm not trying to dye my hands. This will dye your hands. Will it dye your shower? I don't recall, so I guess I'll tell you that later. I am going to start on my front sections. Why? Because I have all of the gray and I want to give it the most time to penetrate my hair part line, my front parts right here, and just like really bake into this section. My back typically holds on to color very well, so I always end up doing my back last. So the instructions say to do a strand test first. I have used overtone in my hair previously and I know that it's fine. 
fine. I'm not going to have any sort of a negative reaction to it at all. Um, I guess the strain test would also tell you how it is likely to come out, but we're going full balls in for this one because we just want to see how it's going to turn out. I'm going to do um, like root sections first. I kind of went a little low on that. I didn't mean to. I got carried away. Kind of make sure that I have all of my root done before sliding it through the rest of my hair. It is pretty thick. It smells wonderful. It doesn't feel like it goes as far as like a very liquidy hair dye typically does. I did like vanity colors a while ago. I did blue and I used the overtone blue and also um, that, uh, what is it, Matrix Vivids blue. I had a love-hate relationship with it, honestly. So blue fades to like a green and it, it fades really terribly. So as soon as it would start to fade, I would color it again. So then I was putting color in my hair almost weekly. At the same time, I was spending days trying to get the color off of my scalp and my hair and in my shower only to get back to the point again where I was going back in and dyeing it again. Now, I used a lot of that Vivids, the Matrix Vivids, which is what did dye my shower. I can't remember if Overtone did or not. I didn't use it as much as I probably should have. But at the time, they didn't have Overtone for brown hair. It was a few years ago. And uh, it didn't work as well at depositing bright, vivid color as the other one. But I used the Overtone when I needed to fix my hair. So Overtone is a color depositing conditioner. This isn't necessary. It is a hair dye. It's depositing the color. Does it have those chemicals in it that will damage your hair? So typically, if you do go for like a bleach job or something and say you do get some damage in your hair, overtone is going to be your best bet because it's going to help seal your cuticles and just condition your dried strands. It's not going to fix your hair and nothing's going to fix your hair until it's grown out, but it will make it significantly better. I typically only color my roots because I use just, you know, like the brown dye. Um, so this is kind of fun. <laughs> Done with all my roots. So now I'm just going to kind of work the rest of the purple in to um, each section. I do still want to make sure that I'm doing it in sections um, per se so that everything is coated. Uh, the way that it's looking right now, I think I'm going to use this entire jar, which then would be kind of pricey. Okay, the first thing that I'm honestly noticing is how absolutely thick this conditioner is. It doesn't feel like it's going to go very far. It almost seizes up in your hair where I don't even think I'm going to be able to comb through this when I'm done. And it is kind of hard to do it in sections because as soon as you apply it, it almost is like a paste and everything just kind of sticks to it, which sounds like it should be a good thing, but honestly, it's feeling like a bad thing. I feel like I'm using a lot of dye in a lot of this conditioner to dye my hair where I didn't even consider the fact that I might need to buy two containers because I have long hair. I just assumed that this one container was going to color my hair and keep it colored for at least like a month or two. I'm so afraid that one section is just not going to have hair dye in it or enough hair dye. So I am like literally just massaging this into my head for a few more minutes, making sure that I grab a little bit more and kind of put it inside of this dreadlocky ponytail that I have somehow created, but there's no chance I'm going to be able to get a comb through this. It is so thick. It almost feels like dry. Um, and a trick to avoiding that would be uh, putting like rubbing some Vaseline on your skin. Um, prior to dying, I don't have any Vaseline. I probably should have used something. What time is it? 11.20 I finished. So uh, it says 10 to 15 minutes before you wash it out with warm to hot water, which I thought was very interesting because typically you'd want to um, preserve color you wouldn't use. Heat, guess we'll see. It is so thick that uh, I have it up in a bun, but I did not use a clip to hold it into the bun. Um, but also I could like... Bang. It ain't going anywhere. <laughs> this is how much conditioner I have left after doing my hair. It's definitely not enough for me to do a second round. Maybe if you have short hair, you could get two uses out of one of these. I have about medium density hair. It's closer to the thin side um, than the thick side, that's for sure. But uh, I have like medium length hair as well. It only goes down to about my boobs. So it's not even long, it's not even thick, and I used a whole hell of a lot. If you have long thick hair, you might want to order two of these. Color it when you realize that it's fading 
creating a lot. In between all of those colorings though, you would use their color depositing conditioner. It's meant to be used in the shower. This is meant to be used on dry hair. This is meant to be used on wet hair. So it's going to revive and refresh it, but it's not going to do as much color depositing as this jar does where it actually like penetrates in colors for the very first time. I am so nervous about how this is going to turn out. What do you guys think? I told my husband before, I don't think I would ever go back to the vanity colors because it does require so much upkeep and also um, I bet I was kind of digging. I honestly was kind of digging my brown hair. I really um, started to love it and not feel the urge to, to change it so much and then I did it. Yeah, so I have eight more minutes for this to soak in and then I'll jump in the shower and be right back and we'll see how it turned out. I just want to give you guys a shower update so you can see um, if it stained or not. It did a little bit. You can definitely see where it gripped on around the drain where it was pretty much just sitting, but that was the only spot that stained, I saw it on my grout for a minute, but then it kind of went away with a little bit more water and I'm not too concerned about that. I think I could probably just brush that away pretty quick. Okay, I'm back. Real quick, a little update about the shower situation. So uh, the instructions do not say to use shampoo. It doesn't say not to use shampoo, but it literally just says rinse thoroughly with warm or hot water. So I did not use shampoo, but I'm telling you it took me like 20 minutes to get this stuff out of my hair. The water did not like ever run clear and I just have one of those um, scrubby guys that you can like give yourself a scalp massage and I just kept on doing that. I forgot to wear gloves in the shower so I do have some staining like it definitely ruined my nail polish I do have staining on my hands but that is obviously entirely my fault I have a little faint bit right here but I was able to get it off of the majority of the rest of my skin with a little like um, face cleanser and micellar water now it's time for the grand reveal <laughs> there, two, one. there we are so we are hella darker um, I am kind of shocked honestly at how dark it is and I definitely expected it to get deeper in color but I was hoping for a lot brighter of a color because the ad I do kind of feel like the advertised photos are perhaps a little bit misleading because you're not going to get that vibrancy of the color without having lifted color off of your hair first so let me brighten this up maybe it'll be easier to see okay so I do have box dyed hair like I was saying well e-salon dyed hair it did take to all of my hair but I don't think that it took very evenly and I felt like I did a pretty decent job with the application um, but you can kind of see that uh, some of the parts do appear maybe even a little bit ashy brown black and then other parts definitely have a little bit more purple in it. I bet you the little bit more purple is more likely those highlighted pieces in my hair. They are not highlighted but the sun they're highlighted with the sun, you know? And then my gray. So my roots, I did have to clean up my entire part line because it really colored my scalp and um, it took uh, some a lot of cleanser with a Q-tip to try to get that part clean, but that's what I use. You can definitely see the grays. They're just a brighter, more pastel-y purple. Um, you, you can kind of see a bunch up here as well. I didn't expect them to be hidden by any means. Um, they definitely didn't take to the color the same way. I'm kind of betting that it's going to wash off of the gray as hella sooner than anything else. With my hair this dark, I don't know if I would do it again because you're going to see the grays constantly. I, uh, it'll be a lot of constant upkeep for me. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to capture it in natural light. I definitely feel like it's a bit more vibrant out here in the natural light. Um, I still feel like it didn't take as well as I was hoping. I do, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. On me, at least. I think it's, I think it's very dark. I feel, I feel like cold or, you know? I will admit that it's purple. It's definitely purple. Oh, we should look at the back. Let's see if I did it evenly in the back. I will put the link to this down below. Obviously, I'm not an affiliate or anything. I just wanted to try it out and, um, I don't know, test something out for you guys. I might be able to find like a coupon code or some way to save money as well, so I'll put that down there as well because I like to save you money wherever I possibly can. Yeah, the next one, I think I'm gonna try the rose gold. I really wanted, I really did want to try rose gold, but I wanted to go with the overwhelming majority vote out. So once I kind of wash this out and get this out of my hair, maybe I'll give that one a try next. So, all right, that's everything that I
I have for you guys today. Love you so damn much. Please don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave or check and make sure that you are subscribed because YouTube sometimes likes to unsubscribe people or whatever. Turn on bell notifications. I post like three to four times per week and that's it. Love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.